Hi, I'm Emily from Emily Bullock Fitness, and I wanted to spend a few minutes today talking about kind of how I got into this consulting business in the health and fitness industry. So as a little bit of background about myself, I'm actually trained as a clinical psychologist. So I have a private practice where I perform psychotherapy, and I've always been very, very interested in trying to help people in in terms of helping people with their mental health. But I was also in the Air Force for about six years and started getting, well, I had to get into working out because it was a requirement for me to pass my physical training tests. And before I was in the Air Force, I, and growing up, I mean, I'm, I've always been very uncoordinated, never played team sports, uh, I was the kid that always got picked last in gym because I sucked and I always excelled in academics because that's where my strength was and that's where I excelled and I just never got into sports. I did dive on the diving team for a couple years in high school and really liked that. So at the end of my doctoral training, I matched with an internship program with the Air Force and had to get into shape and I had gained a bunch of weight um, at the end of college and then lost it and gained a bunch of weight again in graduate school through a bad relationship and so I had a lot of weight to lose and I had to get my butt into shape so that was kind of the beginning of my like fitness journey I guess you would say and I really ended up loving running and I got into running and became a long distance runner and I ran a bunch of half marathons, 30 Ks, even did two full marathons and I just loved it. Now I wasn't fast compared, you know, fast in the running community, but um, I loved it and that was something that I really enjoyed. And then I had my first baby and continued running and then I had my second baby and it was much harder to run with the double running stroller and two kids in the double running stroller because it was much heavier to push. So I started actually going to the gym after my second baby and this was in 2015. And so we have a gym close to our house, the kids could go in the daycare, I would run on the treadmill or I would go to weight training classes and spin classes. And so I did end up losing most of the baby weight and I was also nursing, so that helped. So I lost most of the weight within like four months or something like that, four or five months. Um, but my kids were eating sick all the time, going to the gym daycare, and it just was really a struggle. And on days that I didn't make it to the gym during the you know restricted daycare hours, then I just wouldn't do my workout. And so um, I was also at that time trying to learn more about clean eating, and I had some friends that were like teaching me about it, and I started getting learning a lot. Um, about that and starting to very f first starting to do some meal prepping and then I was at this plateau with my weight where my weight was not budging and I was exercising and doing this clean eating and I'm like what the heck is going on this is so frustrating and I saw one of my friends posted on Facebook about a health and fitness like accountability challenge group and I was like what the heck is that like that's what I need I need people because I really hadn't made friends at the gym and so if I didn't show up at the gym that day like nobody was calling me or like Emily where were you or oh you better still get your workout in because I didn't see you at class this morning or anything like that so I was like okay I need accountability that's what I need so I ended up and it ended up it was a beach body program and I ordered my first challenge pack. So that comes with Shakeology and I ordered 21 day fix workout program and eating program with the container um, portion control system. And so I started doing that and it ended up that I was, even though I was eating pretty healthy, I was eating way too much for what my body needed. And so that's why my weight wasn't budging and I wasn't doing really the right combination of like the high intensity interval training and cardio and strength training and all that kind of stuff. So I ended up doing the beach body programs for a couple of months and that's when I was sold on these beach body products was when I had my own kind of transformation with the hammer and chisel, hammer and chisel program which is a 60 day program and it's 
heavy on strength training like half the days of the week and then the other half the days of the week it's also strength strength training so like all weightlifting um, but on the other half of the days you're also combining those high intensity intervals so you're of course like burning tons of fat you're getting lots of cardio and then your muscles are, are building up and then I was drinking Shakeology every single day which totally was a game changer for me in terms of cutting down my cravings because I'm a huge sweets person and I love chocolate um, and then I was following the containers like pretty well not like a hundred percent or anything but I ended up losing 15 pounds doing that 60-day program and gaining a bunch of muscle and that's really what helped me like pass that plateau like break that plateau in terms of my weight um, and it was the leanest that I'd ever been in my life in terms of um, lean muscle mass and that kind of thing so anyway Around that time that I started Hammer and Chisel, uh, that's when I really started to actually be interested in the business side of running a health and fitness consulting business because I was seeing all these coaches like in my challenge groups motivating people and like bringing new challengers into the group and like making all this money doing it and I'm like what the heck like I want to help people too like I can why can't I motivate people and why can't I bring challengers into the challenge group and help my friends and my family and things like that and get paid for it and you know the biggest thing in this business is you have to have a heart to help people you have to want to help people or it's not gonna work if you're just like money hungry then it's not gonna work but you also have to have some kind of motivation or reason why you want to excel in this business or else it's not gonna work because it is not it's not like some piece of cake every single day that I'm working my business it's hard work and so for me I actually have a real reason why I want to succeed in this business and it's really those two parts so it's really because I genuinely want to help people and it's very frustrating to me in my therapy business how I work with people on healthy behaviors in terms of you know taking care of yourself and getting your your butt moving around in the day to help with depression and uh, combating avoidance to help with anxiety and things like that but this there's also this nutrition component and exercise component that's so critical to overall wellness with mental health and physical health and social health and spiritual health and, but in my therapy business, I can't be like calling my patients on the phone like, did you exercise today or did you bring your healthy lunch to work and eat it instead of going out with your friends for lunch to, you know, Cafe Rio or something like that. I can't do that with my patients because of obviously the nature of um, therapy and boundaries and all that. So with my consulting business, you bet I can do that with my customers and the way that we do that is checking in through the challenge groups which are all run online and so it's awesome because I can help people in a way that I cannot help people in my psychology practice so that's my part of my reason of why I do this and then the other reason is like I want to grow wealth and my husband and I both work and we have a very awesome life with our two kids and we love most parts of every single day and we have so much fun but we have dreams and we have we have goals and wishes and dreams and intentions for our future for our family and for our kids and for their education and for our grandchildren and great-grandchildren and and the way that we the businesses that we were in really well at least my business with my psychology practice I was like capping out on the amount of money that I could make but with with consulting for Beachbody I mean there's no cap on how much you can make and so that's very motivating for me so it's not like I'm in this just for the money I'm in it to help people and I also want to help my family and myself to be able to accomplish those dreams and those goals in our lives and so that's really what like lit the fire underneath me to really drive me in my business. And so 
Um, today is February 19th of 2017 and I basically started coaching almost a year ago. It was like the end of February that I decided like, all right, this is day one of hammer and chisel and this is day one of me going all into coaching. I'd been kind of like watching YouTube videos about coaching and like, hmm, I don't know if I want to do that and kind of learning about how it all worked. But it was about a year ago that I decided like, forget it, I'm just going to do it. Like, what do I have to lose? And so throughout this year, my business has grown so much. And I have, I don't know how many downline um, coaches that I have on my team, but there's got to be probably 25 or 30 people on my team already. So my co all of my coaches that I sponsor and then all of their coaches that they sponsor, and so just in a year, I've been able to grow my team and my business and we have amazing training on our team and I love helping people and being their consultant because basically I have tools that I'm able to teach other people and I have these products that people are able to purchase through my website and then these people take these tools and then they either choose to run with it or not. And you know, sometimes people choose not to run with it and that's fine and I can't make people do something that they don't have the motivation to do and I can't really force someone to be motivated. I can't like teach motivation. All I can do is really inspire people and just share my journey of what I have done in my life and so that's what I, that's really what the business is, is me sharing my journey and I do that through social media and I freaking talk to a lot of people um, that I meet and friends and family and things like that and I've been very lucky that a lot of people have wanted to join me on either in challenge groups or people have wanted to join me as coaches and I have some amazing amazing people on my team that are coaching and consulting and doing things you know figuring out their own way that they want to run their business and doing so well with it so I have loved this first year in my health and fitness consulting business and I'm very excited to see where 2017 takes me. I've got some big goals for this year and I would love it if you have any questions to just get with me. You can, um, if you're not already in touch with me, you can, the best way to get me is through either my personal Facebook page, which is Emily Young Bullock, or through my fitness page, which is facebook.com slash Emily Bullock Fitness, and just message me, and we can start chatting about it. So if there's even a little part of you that is inspired to help other people, and if there's a little part of you that wants more of a full and enriching life when it comes to feeling good about what you're doing, to help other people and also what you're teaching your kids or your friends or your family about really what it could mean to live a healthy lifestyle. Or if you have dreams that need financing, then just, you know, put yourself out there and message me or talk to, you know, one of your friends that's doing consulting and and try to find out a little bit more about this business and see if it would be the right fit for you. Because for me, it's been so amazing and it's been a totally good for me, fit for me. So thanks and have a great day.